Hi, welcome to my channel QuickView Enthusiast. I am Abhishek, a QuickView learner, and today I will share my learning about uh, one of the QuickView objects, selection box. So selection box is a, a very interesting QuickView component uh, to show what are all the selections that we have made in this document. So suppose that, uh, you know, you are uh, analyzing this document and uh, doing some selections like uh, 2011 and uh, for 2011 you want to select uh, hotel and clubs and uh, then this 32 number you know some customer for this bismart so you are doing a lot of selections into your uh, uh, document and after some time you are puzzled with this uh, scenario that uh, now you don't remember which one you selected first, which one you not selected, or uh, you know what are all the different selections that you have done in this document. So to help with uh, to help that resolve uh, that kind of confusion, we have uh, the selection box in ClickView. And uh, let's see how we can create this. So we will first clear all of the selections that we have made. And margin is something which is uh, pre-selected for every document. So that will be selected by default. So let's right click on the blank space, a new sheet object. And uh, we have a current selection box. So that selection box is actually the current selection box. Click on this, uh, the title that we want to give so I will leave it is with the current selections so it has a display columns so what are all the columns that you want to display you want to display status value drop down select and clear icons lock or unlock icons so let's leave it as default and uh, click on OK to quickly see what it does so you see that uh, measure uh, is margin which is by default and display as is dollar which is a dollar display we have set uh, in the background for this for all of this uh, uh, sheets. So let's quickly do some selections like uh, 2011 and say wholesale liquor, uh, sales representative is Roberts and uh, say product group is 16 yeah and uh, you know how then and once you are uh, done with all the selection you you usually analyze the document and uh, send it to your uh, management that this is how a view will look like or you know you pick up some values from here like some percentages some variance to budget and send it to management but suppose that uh, somebody will ask you that how you arrived at that situation then this current selection box will help you a lot because that will you know show you in which order you have done the selection and uh, what are the selection value that you have chosen right so you have first selection by customer and then the segment group then the product group, sales representative name. You can have uh, all of this list and uh, you can send it to your uh, uh, manager or the management team that uh, this is how I arrive uh, by choosing these different values. And, uh, and then they said, okay, uh, don't go by the segment group by this, but go by something else. So you have the option of uh, choosing over here also like grocery or you can go into the segment group here also and choose the grocery. So this not only serves the purpose of uh, showing what are all the selections that you have made in this document, but you can also change the values directly over here. So you don't have to go again uh, into each individual filters and change the value, but directly you can uh, change the value from here as well as you can erase the filter from here right so this small erase icon is to erase the filter so let's say 
we want to erase product group we can click on this and uh, product group is uh, now gone so in that case it, it will be really helpful that uh, suppose you have done some wrong selection and you want to erase it so you can directly erase it from here instead of going back back and back again and then choosing the relevant values again from the different filters so you can erase uh, any of the filter by directly clicking on this erase button another thing uh, it has is uh, these uh, different fields like uh, these are the columns these are the values and this is some status and all so say you are sending this document to uh, to your colleague or somebody else who needs to review this and they are not sure about what are all these things then you can go into the properties and set their names like this you enable this use column labels click on apply and that will say that it is fields that you have selected and these are the values for this and uh, rest of the properties are very simple like uh, label background is this so you have this label background text color and uh, label text color and normal text color apart from that you have font which is very similar I'll not go through with this layout again uh, similar to the other text components uh, all the properties are similar and you may have seen that I have mostly talked about these uh, show and options related property and not on the layer and theme maker because uh, first thing is they are uh, this layer and uh, border width intensity is uh, not very much relevant to the things that I'm doing but but I am thinking uh, and uh, also planned to show all these different properties in a separate video so please wait till that time and I will definitely show you how this layer border weight show intensity and everything uh, which I usually leave in my videos and I will show you in s some other future video that how these properties affect this uh, these click view objects alright so let's move on with the what shows does again you want to show it always or you want to show it conditionally if you want to show it conditionally specify the condition so let's click uh, the default option always again you have move and size copy and clone so if you want the end user to move and resize this you can enable this if you want the end user to copy or clone you can enable this scroll buttons scroll background so if uh, you have a scroll bar over here what are the color that scroll button should have it will specify here uh, scroll background what kind of a background that scroll bar will have is uh, this color this is the scroll bar width uh, how much uh, broader width you need you can specify over here another thing is a uh, simple thing caption so this is a caption current selection you are showing the caption that's why it is uh, enabled here and uh, this is the caption alignment you want to make it center you can click center apply it will move a very simple thing you can simply change these values and see the effect directly uh, allow minimize uh, if you want to minimize this to save the real estate uh, of your dashboard you can do that uh, by enabling this button this uh, specify the position at which position this uh, current selection box should be present so x position is this 1010 and y position is 69 and this is the width and height you can uh, change the width and height from here also or uh, by dragging uh, the borders of this current selection box if you want to show some help text uh, uh, you can uh, mention that like uh, this is the current selection box say apply and this uh, small question mark kind of an icon comes over here so let's click on ok when you mouse when you put your mouse over this uh, icon this display is this is the current selection box so this is a very simple and uh, 
a quick video of current selection box but sometimes it's really helpful when you have uh, a lot of filters and after sometimes so you know you really need to recall what are all the selections that you have made uh, to arrive at a particular scenario so that's pretty much all I wanted to cover in this video thanks for watching my video and let's meet in the next video with a new object till then bye bye